Hey guys, so today I have another DIY project for you all since you all seem to like these DIYs. So I found another one um, that I really wanted to do and this is what it looks like. It is a monogrammed floral letter and actually I kind of came up with the idea while we were at the Dollar Tree because I wanted something to go on my door but I didn't know what. And I want it just to almost be an expression of what my room is and what it's going to be like when you walk in. So this about sums it up. It's a letter B, um, if you guys can't tell, and it has floral or flowers everywhere. Um, you can literally do any letter and you can also do um, like play around with fonts. Um, and you could always do that too. I kind of just sketched this letter out because I really, I thought it was already going to be a lot with the flowers going on, so I didn't want anything too crazy. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. And let's get on to the DIY monogram floral letter. So to get started, you're going to need your choice size of canvas some flowers of multiple colors or one color, whatever you would like really. You're also going to need a hot glue gun and extra glue. You're also going to need a pencil in case you're going to sketch or draw your letter. Now you're going to want to remove the flowers off of the stems and I got these flowers at the dollar store so very very inexpensive. Next, you're going to take your canvas and figure out how you are going to place your letter. I'm going to go for a diamond shape look to my canvas. And then you just want to trace out your letter. Um, I like to use a book or something that has a straight edge just so that everything is a little bit more clean. Um, but it doesn't really matter because the flowers are going to cover the lines anyways. So this is what my letter looks like. Now you're going to want to cut off these little stems that are left over off the flowers just so that we have a little bit more of a flat surface on the back of each of these flowers. You could also go ahead and remove the green part if you want to, which I ended up doing later on. And before you start gluing, go for a little dry run through of where you placing the flowers, what kind of pattern you're doing if you have multiple colors. This just makes it a lot easier and you will avoid having big errors and like glue everywhere because you made sure that everything was exactly where you wanted it. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and start hot gluing the flowers into place. Make sure you're pressing down firmly once you glue them down, because we don't want these flowers to start like falling off at random times of the day. We want them to be on there for a very, very long time. I'm also adding these little filler flowers in case there's anywhere I think that looks a little bit too bare or that you can see the lines underneath. And here's what the finished product should look like. for watching I hope you all enjoyed this video if you guys have any comments anything like that feel free to always leave it down below I will try to respond um, but sometimes it's hard because I don't get like the notification that someone's left the comment so that's how come sometimes it takes a couple days but um, 
besides that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye. You wanna be